The United Nations Environment Program Independent Assessment Report of the Environment and Public Health Impact of Oil Contamination of Ogoniland, or the UNEP report, was submitted in 2011. The report contains numerous recommendations that will have an immediate and positive impact on Ogoniland and the Niger Delta as a whole. Over four years after, the recommendations are still a long way from being implemented. The protracted issue has put the people at loggerheads with the government and oil multinationals whose activities have largely contributed to health challenges, loss of livelihood, contamination of soil and groundwater, loss of vegetation and aquatic life in the host communities. There, however, appears to be hope in the horizon, as the Nigerian government is set to launch the activities towards the cleanup of Ogoniland. It is hoped that we will um, have this uh, launch in the coming weeks and the first of the launch in the you know, It is really to us turning the page in that history of the struggle so that we can think about what happens after the cleanup. The government is also looking at implementing emergency measures recommended in the UNEP report. That includes access to affordable drinking water, development of a community engagement and a communication plan, as well as the dispute resolution mechanism. Our faith is that this is the right and wrong targets that most multinationals will all go to our hearts. Unfortunately, to our communities who want to fall into such a trap. But I believe uh, very, very well. For his part, River State Governor Yeson Wiki would like to see a non partisan and objective approach to the cleanup of Ogoni land. Community don't have a party, no community don't have a support. And so I would advise that uh, we approach it in such a way as to not approach it. Because there is a very important thing that you may have seen, which is not, it is very complex. That's that you have to be estimated because if you're not careful, you may not achieve what you intend to achieve. The ministerial team will also visit Bayelsa State to seek input from other stakeholders in the Niger Delta. E. Degbo Abiyakeme, AIT News, Patakat.